Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the baby cake token using Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything that you need to do in order to purchase the baby cake token. I'd also like to let you guys know as well before we get started that I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn how to buy and sell and more, I'd really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out into the future. Now let's get started in showing you guys how to get this token. All you have to do is head over to Trust Wallet first off. So once you're on Trust Wallet here, you just want to make sure you're logged in and you're on your wallet. The first thing we have to do here is we're going to have to add the token to our Trust Wallet before we can go ahead and purchase it. So to do that, I'll have a link in the description over to CoinMarketCap. And you guys can want to go there to get the contract address. So if you just head over to CoinMarketCap, you'll be able to grab the contract address. So I'll show you guys right here what it'll look like. So once you're on CoinMarketCap here, you just want to scroll down and find where it says contracts. And you'll see a little ID here. You just want to click on the little copy button. Once you guys have it copied, we can head back over to Trust Wallet. And then we want to navigate to the top right of the screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Click on that and go ahead and paste the address in the top search bar. Once we do that here, we'll see Add Custom Token. So we just go ahead and click on Add Custom Token. And what we want to do is we want to change the network here from Ethereum to Smart Chain. And then we can paste that contract address right here. And then the baby cake will automatically load in here for us. What we can do now is click on Save at the top right. And then it'll add the custom token to our Trust Wallet. So we're able to then purchase the token and send it to our Trust Wallet to hold in here. Now, once you guys have the token inside of your wallet, like I do right here, we can head over to PancakeSwap. So I'll have another link in the description over to PancakeSwap. So you guys can just go ahead and click on that. But I'll show you guys really quickly one thing as well. If you want to add PancakeSwap to your home screen to make it easier to connect to whenever you need to buy or sell, you guys can just click on this little share button right here. Scroll down and click on add to home screen makes it a lot easier to do that because you can just click on this little app on your home screen and it's a lot more efficient. So I'll show you guys from here where, what to do. So I'll just go ahead and open up PancakeSwap. You guys can just do it on the Safari browser if you want or any browser. But uh, once you guys are on PancakeSwap, it'll just look like this just on the home screen of PancakeSwap. And all you guys are going to have to do is you want to go to the top left corner and click on the three lines. And then you guys want to click on trade right here and then exchange. Once you guys are on the exchange portion right here, we just have to connect our wallets. And to do that, you just want to click on the little connect button at the top of your screen. And then you want to click on wallet connect, not trust wallet. So just click on wallet connect here and then click on trust wallet as the second option. So then I'm going to pop up this here asking us to connect our trust wallet. So we can just click on connect to connect to PancakeSwap and then head back over to our browser. Once we're back over to our browser, you'll see your wallet address up at the top of the screen, as well as your balance right above the BNB right there. Uh, you'll know that's when it's connected. If you guys don't see your BNB balance here and you have BNB in your trust wallet, just make sure you have it in your smart chain wallet and not in your BNB wallet or else it will not show up here. Anyhow, once you guys have your balance and everything in here, we have to click on select a currency and then we're going to paste that same address we got from CoinMarketCap up in the top section here. And then we're going to click on import, I understand, and import. Now what we have to do is we have to change our slippage tolerance to 12%. To change your slippage tolerance, you want to go to beside where it says exchange and click on the three lines. Here we can change our slippage tolerance to 12% and then click on done and we can exit out of here. Now all we have to do is decide how much BNB that we want to transfer over into the baby cake token. So let's just say for example I want to do 0.2. I can go ahead and type in 0.2 and then I go ahead and click on insufficient BNB balance. That's what it says here for me at least because I don't have any BNB. But for you it should say swap if you have the appropriate amount of BNB. And once you see swap there, you can go ahead and click on it. It'll open up another page, just showing you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and your rates and things like that. Now, if you're okay with that transaction, you can go ahead and click on swap again, and then it will send it over to your trust wallet, usually within a couple minutes. Uh, but yeah, once you guys are done there, you can come back into your trust wallet, cancel out of this, and then your baby cake token will then appear in your trust wallet, usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to purchase the baby cake token. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.